new segment, Talk of the Town, and today we have a special guest. Jay Lyrical. So, East. tell the people where you're from. I'm from East Flatbush, Brooklyn, uh, 50 East to be exact, 54th and Tilden. Okay, so, for the people that's not from New York, tell us what it's like growing up in Flatbush. Uh, it's very Caribbean. I will say that. Very, okay. very Caribbean oriented. So you kept your roots at a young age. Uh, you know what's funny? I'm actually American. Wow. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm straight. I'm like I'm southern. Like I'm southern American. Like my mom's is from Tennessee. My okay. grandmother from Georgia. So you got a taste of the Caribbean life. Right? Yeah, a little Caribbean life. Yeah, you know, with all the restaurants and stuff being around. Um, it's cool. You know, a lot of young boys is outside doing their thing. Uh. A lot of schools in my area. I went to 244. I went to Winthrop. Uh, you got my 11, Tilden, South Sh- oh, South Shore oh, further. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> so, you don't mind me asking how old are you? 29. I actually just turned 29 two months ago. Okay, so how was it like musically from back then to now? Like, cause you've been doing music for how long now? I've been doing music since I was about maybe 12. About. Okay. So from high school, you know, high school, yeah, bopping and going to the studio mm. versus now, like I feel like music now is very different. What's your take on it? Uh, the generation, the generational change has really made an impact on the music and the way we listen to music and the amount of like the different artists that come out. Um, there's a new sound out now from what I was used to listen to growing up. Like I listened to a lot of 50 Cent growing up. A lot of G-Unit. I listened to a lot of hardcore gangster rap growing up. Okay. Now it's a lot of the young boys doing the drill music. So that's what's really buzzing right now. Okay, do you like the drill music? Do you... I'm not going to say I don't like it because everything changes. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I respect the change in hip hop, but it's not really my preferred kind of music. No disrespect to the artist, but yeah, that's not my preferred. I like bars. Okay. Okay, so getting into you, like your name's Jay Lyrical. Yes. So why did you have to put lyrical in your name? You know, like, <laughs> have let people know, like this is bars I think, over here. Yeah, like, no, nah, I think I had to like solidify with the name. <laughs> I feel like your name is what carries you. So okay. I feel like I wanted to let them know that the bars is here, mm-hmm. and also have a different kind of name. Like so, when you hear it, you know what's up. Like you know what's what with me. Like, I don't have to, like, I, yes, I do have to prove it. I'm not even going to say I don't have to prove it. I have to prove it. But I let the lyrics speak for the name, and the name speak for everything else around okay. it. Okay, so lyrics, not everyone has. Like, not everyone is lyrical. <laughs> so is there anyone that you've seen, like, on the come up that you feel is lyrical? Um, maybe. Um, it's a few. There's some names that are popping in my head. I ain't, I ain't really too much put some thought into it, but there's <laughs> some names that are popping in my head. You know what I actually do like now? I take that back. I like his flow and I like what he's doing. I like Coast of Ghost music. Okay. I like MVK music. MV, MVK be having some balls in his joint. Like, I, I listen to MVK music, I be like, all right. <laughs> so I got some, like I, I, like, I know who I could rap with. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I know. So you think you could rap with him? I definitely believe so. I definitely believe so. I put that out there, bro. I definitely do a song with with Envy Kane, most definitely. Even forgetting all the politics and all that good stuff. But people gotta understand, like with me, I don't mix politics and money. I don't mix politics and um, opportunity. So I tell people, like I separate that. I don't care what you got going on in the street, whatever the case may have you. I'm all about music. When you meet me, it's music. When you when you see me, it's music. When I leave, it's music. Okay. You know. I wish everybody was on that time. (laughs) It's music. (laughs) It's cool. All right, so do you feel like it's, I want to say, harder to be lyrical these days because it's not much, I don't know, people say it's not much inspiration nowadays. Or it don't make, because the people you see getting on makes you not want to work as hard. Right, right. I don't know, these nah. are the things I heard. What's your take on that? Nah, this, it's inspiration out there because what, there's a general, there's, levels of generations so the generation now that's popping right now might inspire younger kids than them and um, i feel like it definitely did yeah a lot of artists now right like booba savage is 12 years old like little scrap is like 10 years old yeah. you know what i'm saying like and that's you think you think it's a it's a it's an age limit on doing music like you think nah. too young to start 
Nah, I, I, what, I, what I will say is, with your age, just be mindful of what you're saying in your music. You know what I'm saying? If you young and you talking hot, just know what come with that. But nah, I never think it's an age limit. I feel like you start whenever you feel like you're ready. You might have a lot of influences around you that might... Like Lil Scott definitely got a lot of influences. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. And I'm like, oh, I, I didn't even know he was 10 till like recently. I was like, he's 10 years old. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> Shout out to little dude, though. Okay, so who are some of your inspirations in music? Like, what inspires you to, like, keep going? Uh, the simple fact that the generation, like, the people that I listen to are still doing music right now. Mm -hmm. And that they, like, they... So, like, who? Jay-Z, most definitely. He's not doing music. Huh? He's not doing music. He's doing, he just dropped 444 a couple years ago, but I mean, he's still, there's artists that's not that doing music not at all. not consistent. He doesn't ago. have, well, see, here's the thing. He's already established to where he doesn't have to be consistent, exactly. but I would, but I could still listen to him to this day. Yes, because the, so you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yes, there's legendary songs out mm -hmm. there, but like, inspiration like who who motivates you to like keep doing music like i feel like he got all those opportunities after he dropped like mad projects you know but isn't that isn't that what we we work for we work for legendary status yeah but you also got to be super consistent okay so that's how i'm asking so, like, what inspires okay, so you is to be consistent um to keep going or you know like just just the simple fact that music for me is fun like I never, okay. I, 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 I love what I do, I enjoy what I do, I enjoy the music I make, and I put myself in the category of where well, this is me, and I know you have people that's better than me, you may have people that's not better than me, but I always believe in myself. I feel like as an artist, you should believe in yourself. The one of the most consistent rappers I can say now, to this day, that's in my age group, Dave East. Dave East is mad consistent. Okay, even with mm -hmm. little freestyles and all that word. <laughs> Yeah, not like yeah. that, but like, you know, it's like <laughs> nah, to not. me, freestyles don't count as dropping music. That's feeding your fans. I don't know how you feel, but that's my. Opinion. Well, I mean, because freestyles you're not gonna get paid for. I mean, depending on how the freestyle go, like a remix to a song or something. Mm -hmm. Like you, you're not gonna get that clear. So to me, that's but you could, your fans. but but he could get. You could blow off a remix. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's so many like, artists that have blown off of somebody else's beat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You can blow off a remix, but like... Young and May is dope, too. I, I definitely fuck with Young and May music. Yeah, I'm about to say, she's somebody that I feel like yeah. super consistent. Yeah, Young and May, Young and May stay dropping shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Casanova dropped music a lot. You know what I'm saying? I definitely was messing with Casanova's music a lot. Before then? Yeah, before the little situation. Um, Don Q, A Boogie. Don, Don Q, like, Don Q reminds me of that old school, like, that music that I love listening to, like, bars, the, 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 um, the consistency, I, I like, I love that, like, like, okay. Don Q's music is dope, he has a lot of substance in his genre. Okay. so if you had to compare yourself to a, a mainstream artist, like, who would you say are your similar? Nobody. Okay, and why is that? Because I'm me. I, I never put myself in the same shoes as the next man. Because the next man is different from me. We may have went through different struggles. Even on the sound tip, like, what artists would you say you sound like? Or, you know, it's funny how you say Sean, because a lot of people say Sean. I've gotten Sean, I've gotten Biggie, and I tell people that, that say Big, I'm like, yeah, I respect that, really but sound. yeah, no, that's, no, yeah. No, I'm like, big is in a whole other category, God, God rest his soul. Mm -hmm. But I got Sean, I've gotten Biggie, I've gotten um, G Dep before, which was interesting. <laughs> Not in a bad way, but it was interesting. But yeah, because it, it's my voice, like the deep, the deepness yeah, of my voice. Yeah, that's exactly like, who they collect kind of compared mm. So aside from doing music, you also are a cameraman. So is yes. that conflicting with doing music? Nah, not at all. It goes hand in hand because I actually, gain clientele. I meet new people, I meet new artists. So yeah. I may shoot a video for him one day, we might get on a song the next week. You know what I'm saying? So I always said like that goes hand in hand for me. Like that really does increase my networking. Cause I end up meeting a bunch of people that I may have not met through music at the time, but I met through as being a cameraman. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I love like 
me being multi, be like multitasking like that. Well, isn't it hard to like cross brand though? Nah, not really. Not really. Not really. I feel like it's cool for me because like I work on my, I work at my own pace. I got my own schedule, and um, I know what I need to get done at a certain time. Okay, so as far as being an upcoming artist from New York City, what are some like obstacles you face like while doing music? Hate, <laughs> hate. <laughs> Like, whether Ooh. low key or high key, hate, uh -huh. <laughs> hate, man, like. So hate come on different levels? Definitely does. <laughs> Hell yeah, like, somebody might hate you just just because your music is nice. Somebody might hate you because you might dress better than them. Somebody might hate you because you have more connection. Than, yeah, it's different levels of hate. It's different reasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, so when you're in the studio, like, what's your recording process like? You need your friends. You need nah, your friends. I'm usually on my. Story to tell. You gotta be inspired. Like what? Um. Well, all my studios are closed. I don't really invite nobody to my sessions. Like I, I one of my good friends that I record with, uh, Nat Cave, who's in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. I, I be the only one in my session. The only time I ever have another artist in my session is if we're working on a song together. So you're but, not with all the extra people. Nah, I don't like I don't like having because my thing is like, what purpose are you serving just by sitting there going live on Instagram previewing my music to people that I may not want them to hear that song right then and there? And then if you're not helping me become a better artist, be like, yo, bro, I like that, but you could have did that better, or I feel like you need more energy. You just did on live, like so, you're not doing nothing I mean, for me. Some people have friends that do that. Some, some do. People have friends that don't. So I guess it just depends on the person. It does. <laughs> it does. I don't like all the kumbaya in the studio. It's just okay. me. <laughs> oh wait. So get into some of your music. Your single, "Beautiful Mess," great title, yeah. by the way. Thank you. Thank so, you. So, like, what inspired that song? So the whole project um, is "Obsessions: A Diary for Women." I wanted to jump out of being a rapper all the time and do and like divert myself to do something different okay. so i never did music strictly for women so okay. i did a whole project just dedicated to women i felt like i needed to touch the female fan base okay. and um beautiful mess was a song that i thought of that i felt like could uplift females that may have insecurities or yeah. low self-esteem that yeah. so basically long story short the the song was about basically me loving you no matter what you wear, who you are, mm -hmm. you like underneath the makeup, you still yeah. you. You know what I mean? So I think us men need to do that more. Mag right? Yeah, like I'm magnify say, I don't that. I really hear that in songs much. Yeah, we need to magnify our, our, our females a little bit more. It's more than just bitches and hoes. It's like, mm -hmm. it's some females so that can hold do it down. So you feel like it's hard to push like music like that, being that it's so in depth and hard I mean, and, and, and strong push, topics like that? Pushing music is hard in general. It really depends on how how hard you working as the artist. Mm. You know what I'm saying? True. It really does depend. Because I might think that me being the hardcore rapper might blow, but then a song like Beautiful Mess get played on the radio. And I get more clout. Yeah, I feel like you don't know what song is gonna go viral, and I right. hear people be like, "Yeah, I planned that." Like, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> That's a fact. That's so, a fact. Um, what's your take on that? Well, I kind of asked you already. This already on the hip hop scene currently, like all the music that's been dropping lately. I feel like we got the Detroit wave. Mm -hmm. Coming, we got the down south way with the big old Freddies and all that. And down Kylie south, doing, Bentley. Kylie yeah. doing their own thing. Like, how do you feel about the music scene? I love it. I love the diversity. We shouldn't all sound the same. I think that every, everybody comes from different struggles. Everybody comes from different backgrounds, different lifestyles. And if you want to rap about that in your music, that's music is expressive. Yeah. So. You can talk about what you want. Hey, listen. If you woke up this morning, you wanted to talk about. Getting money, fuck it. If that's what drove you to write that song, fuck it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So if you had to put your music in a category, what would you say? Hip hop, R and B, trap? Hip hop. Straight hip hop. Hip hop. Like, hip -hop. Straight hip -hop. Yeah, straight hip hop. I, I don't mind touching other genres, like a little rock and roll, a little no alternative. You would do rock and roll. Listen. I feel like you should try anything in this world. You nah, don't knock it till you try nah, it. Nah, you not. not. Think about it, like Run DMC did the song with Aerosmith, right? 
Who would have ever saw that coming? At that I time. I feel like you can't just try anything. Nah, you, okay, you like try what you comfortable with. How about that? Yes. We try with some, because you may not be comfortable with everything, but yeah. try with something that you might be you comfortable with. Yeah. Okay, so out of all the songs you have that's out right now, what song would you say best describes you and why? <laughs> I gotta go through five mixtapes. Hold on. Um, out of all the songs. Describe the current you. The current me? You. Uh, shit. Oof. It could be something you did recently. You think it's I would say, all your I would say Lost at NYC, which was a song off of my third mixtape, basically me rapping about don't just don't get lost in New York. Be careful. You know what I'm saying? I feel like cause I was talking about the city. So I was basically just, you know, expressing my city and my music. And I, I love my city, I love where I'm from. So I say Lost at NYC. Beautiful mess, most definitely if it comes to the females. Okay. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And when you go about selecting beats, like, what's your beat selection like? Like, do you look for a certain type of beat? You know how some people like this is yeah. the type of beat. I look. I look are you for. You kind of taken from what producers or whatever vibe they give you. Like, how do you? Uh, what's your beat selection like? I feel like it's a little different. So. It is. No, it definitely is. I like when I'm on YouTube, I'll type in like a Benny the Butcher type beat, a Meek Mill type beat, a uh, Don Q type beat, a uh, Cameron, a Joel Santana. Type okay. beat, so I'll go with like people who I've listened to growing yeah, up. Yeah, so you're 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 particular. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, so who's some artist that you want to collab with? <laughs> oh man, that's a that's a. That's well, a you gave us one already. Give us like every game. Yeah, uh, Billy B, K Goddess, most definitely. Um, whew, geez, it's a lot. I will work with Fabio. Five, five year old, yeah. I will work with Fabio. Like Fabio's lyrical. I mean, I'd be lyrical, but, but he he might have a sound that I might be, you know, listening to. I might could vibe with, cause I'm the kind of person where like I'll get on. Cause I'm like your name is Jay Lyrical. Yeah, yeah, but but, but that but I that. I would put the song title when I was called, cause like Fabio Jay Lyrical, like how is this? Like it'd be different, you yeah. know. It, it'd be different because I I would still be me in that song, even if he's saying what he's saying, I might feel the beat. I might feel the vibe, and I might just bring what I have. I know. To that. I think Fabio do bring a different side out of every artist. Definitely he work does. Pop Smoke, if he was alive, right? You know, rest in peace, Pop Smoke. I definitely would have got it. Would have wanted to work yeah. with Pop. Mainstream, mainstream. Mainstream. Uh, Young and May, Benny the Butcher, uh, West Side Gun. <laughs> you ask. <laughs> that's what I said. It's a list. <laughs> so, like, what's one thing that's on your bucket list when it comes to music? Like, do you want to win the Grammy, be a Like, you just want to get out the hood? I want to, like, I want to, I want to, I want to put my people in a position, in a better position in life. So, like, in a better position? Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, okay. Yeah, entrepreneurship. So, like, you got to help people that want to be helped? I'm you do. Say that. You do. So, if you see that they want to be helped, then Yeah, you say, of course. Cool. If not, then, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Yeah. So um, what's next? Like what's upcoming? Um, Features on the way, projects. Twenty twenty one, got come strong. Twenty twenty one. Well, we here today. Yeah, we're here today. Yeah, so we here today. Um, whenever shows start warming back up, doing more shows. I'm actually working on my sixth project right now called Let's Chat More Rap. Uh, features probably still be the home team people who I got in my camp right now until the doors open up for other people. Uh, you know. Um, and just staying positive, you know, thanking God that, you know, each day is a new day, you know. We lost a legend today. You know what I'm saying? We lost a legend really today. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, you know, you got to be thankful for every day that you wake up, that you're still able to do what you do, whether you got a nine to five or you making music. So being that you said that, like a lot of people saying that being an artist is dangerous. It is. But then again, walking out your crib is dangerous. <laughs> Straight bullet could come hit you out of nowhere. You get hit by a car down the block on the corner. Poppy, you might go in the store and get Wouldn't a sandwich like from. Being a rapper is the most dangerous. 
it's 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 your life. It's really your lifestyle, actually. Because look at Kanye West. Kanye ain't really had no street problems like that. Kanye ain't not a street dude. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, when I when I say dangerous, it don't have to be street shit. It could be like even business shit, like. Kanye in some business, man. Yeah. Feel me? So. You know what? I feel like before you really, really sign a deal, learn the business before you jump into it. Because okay. we think just. Oh, we, that, yeah. We think that it's just dropping music, getting signed. It's a whole other umbrella Not behind that wall, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of us, especially young people who are so eager to get signed, they don't know the business. Where they just quick to sign page 22. And don't even read the twenty-two page, the twenty-one pages before it. You done signed your life away. Yeah. So you should learn the business. That, that's my advice to everybody, even people in my camp. Learn the business. Surround yourself with people who are in the industry mm -hmm. and who are willing to sit down and take that time to tell you this is what's A, B, C, and D. Yeah. You know what okay. I'm saying? Knowledge is key. So how do you like keep up learning the business while still doing the business while still being a camera? Nah, nah, uh, <laughs> like, nah it, it is a lot though. I mean, like, it, it is a lot, but I feel like I make the time for just like how I learn how to be a cameraman. Know I can learn, yeah, le yeah, it's time management. I feel like it's time management with everything. Okay. All right. So you said 2021, plan to do more shows. Mm -hmm. More shows, more radio. More more interviews, more music dropping. Hopefully more features come in from outside people. <laughs> and it's late. Definitely. So tell people where to find you, where to, uh, where to get you up, where they can reach for the uh, On Instagram, y'all could read me. Y'all could reach me at um, official J Lyrical, official J-A-Y-L-Y-R-I-C-K-A-L. That's my um, main page. For videos, Reggie J Films, the letter J. On YouTube, youtube.com slash Reggie J Music. That's where all my videos are posted. Mm -hmm. And SoundCloud is soundcloud.com backslash official J Lyrical. That's where all my projects are.